Hello everybody, my name is Sigi and in this video I'm going to share how I managed to keep running with a sprain Lenko. On July 29th, 2023 I participated in a ultra trail. At kilometer five and a half it all turned into something bad. And I twisted my ankle chasing the ice cream truck. I also immediately knew this wasn't just a small twist of the ankle. I knew this was gonna be bad. I managed to continue the race until kilometer 53 out of the 80. Then I decided to do a DNF. Didn't even finish. Gross. My very first DNF to be exact. Back at the hotel, I could finally assess the situation. So I took off my shoes and started investigating the ankle. What was going on? And of course, it was swelling up even more. I could still walk on it. The first thing that I started to do was put it under cold water. Since I didn't have a bathtub in the hotel where I was staying, I decided to put it just under a cold shower. I did that for about 10 to 15 minutes to cool it off. After the shower, I applied a cream called Voltaren. And for me, it was important that I kept my foot elevated as much as possible. Ooh, are we playing pillow feet again? If you don't keep it elevated, it will swell up even more. The principle about keeping it elevated is you need to put it higher than your heart. That way the blood circulation doesn't go all the way to the injured area and it keeps it from swelling even more. Before going to bed obviously I reapplied that same cream. The day after it was time to go home so we needed to drive six hours to get home. Luckily my girlfriend Cindy took it upon her to drive home so I could keep my feet up elevated upon the dashboard. Hey no feet on the dashboard. Once we got back home I immediately laced up my shoes. The Adidas Solar Glide for ST and I went out for a one, a 5k one to be exact. Yes, indeed, I was in pain. It was not easy. A lot of running, a lot of pain. I did notice around kilometer number four that the ankle was starting to hurt more than the quads. Then I knew, okay, the foot is getting tired. It's a bit time to wrap up. So at kilometer number five, I said, game over. After my run, when I got home, I immediately placed my both feet in a cold bath 10 to 15 minutes. I continued that process for about five days and I've placed it in cold water about two to three times a day. And especially after the run, that was very important because I noticed that the ankle was getting warm due to the pressure, due to the running itself. That automatically took care of additional possible swelling. And every time after the cold bath, I also applied a soothing cream, which also assisted in keeping my feet cooled off. I also immediately purchased an ankle brace to support my ankle even further. It helped out a lot to be honest but I couldn't wear it for a very long time. Usually around an hour or so it started to hurt. Because of that I also decided to only use it when I had a uh, stabbing pain in my ankle or under my heel. Well, describe the pain. It's like I'm being stabbed. The next days I continued running. I never skipped a day and yes of course i gladly wanted to do a long one i needed to heal up a little bit before i could do any big exercises again it wouldn't have been a smart idea just to go out like a crazy man and think like you're superman no you're not superman you're not superman okay Everybody gets hurt. I'm in pain. In that first seven days, I still managed to run 44 kilometers. Hey, that's not bad, right? You are crazy. Even my girlfriend said to me multiple times, take a couple days off, let that ankle rest. But I said, I know my body. I know what I can handle. The pain is not to a level of nine or 10 at a scale of 10. So I could continue. And that's also what I did. That's dedication. That is dedication. And yeah, at some times I was really running slow. As I already briefly touched upon the shoes that I was wearing, Adidas Solar Glide 4 STs, I ran 11 consecutive days in those shoes. For me personally, they were a lifesaver. The moment I slipped them on, they were good, comfortable, but especially that ankle couldn't move a bit, which was for me very important. After about 11 days, I decided to run again in normal shoes. Good fine normal and I needed to adjust again to new shoes. Why? The stability around my ankle was not there anymore. Not in the same way as with the Adidas. Yeah, you can also imagine doing my first runs, those first two weeks, the constant thing going through my mind. Please don't twist it again, because I'm pretty sure otherwise I would have been in a very big mess. Look how tiny and scared you look. But luckily, everything worked out. Why? Because I immediately started to take care of it. And also, ladies and gentlemen, it's not because you have an injury that you cannot go for a run. You need to learn to know your body. You need to learn to feel what you can. Never underestimate yourself. Never think, ah, oh, no, 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 no. I won't be able to go for a run. I'm just going to hang on the couch. Why don't you just try it? Just be extra careful and see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, then you can say, okay, I'm taking a couple of days off. But who knows? It might be possible. One thing that kept me going in all of this, during the trail, the 48 kilometers that I continued running, during my recovery process is be positive, 
be motivated and be strong. I try to live my life in that way. I sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is useful for you. If it was, do not forget to like the video. If you want to see other running content, reviews, race vlog, you name it, then subscribe to the channel. I see you hopefully all in the next one.